why is the Federal Reserve raising interest rates? We know that there are going to be job losses. What is the Fed thinking? I'm asked that question a lot. I'm Dr. Bill Connerly. I connect the dots between the economy and business. Today I'm going to explain what the Fed is thinking. We're going to take a trip through the history of economic thought to better understand that. You may have heard about John Maynard Keynes, founder of Keynesian economics, and back in the 1950s and 1960s, his beliefs about the impact of government spending, government tax policy, was incorporated into mathematical models, and we thought back in the 60s that the economy could be stabilized, but there was a challenge because the Keynesian models of the 60s did not include inflation. So what we did was we l went to historical data suggesting a trade-off between inflation and unemployment. The so-called Phillips curve said if you wanted low inflation, you'd have to have high unemployment. Or if you wanted low unemployment, you'd have to have high inflation. And the policy makers could choose where on this curve they wanted to be, but it was pretty much going to be one or the other. And the belief was that unemployment was harder on everyday people than inflation was, so there was a bias towards inflation. And if you know much about what happened in the later 1960s, we got a lot of inflation. Well, that was the thinking back in the 1960s. At the same time in the 1960s, there was an undercurrent of monetarism led by Milton Friedman, but there were many others. These people said that changes in the money supply were the most significant factor in economic fluctuations and the key factor behind inflation. So that was a minor view, and then something very interesting happened in the late 1960s. We had both Milton Friedman and another person who also was going on to win a Nobel Prize, Edmund Phelps, develop a different theory about the trade-off between inflation and unemployment. They said, yeah, it looks like there's a trade-off in the short run between inflation and unemployment, However, they said that is temporary. Once people figure out what's going on, once they l understand that inflation will continue on in the future, they change their attitudes about what is a good wage, what is a good price. That means that the unemployment rate returns to its initial level. We can get it temporarily off of the natural rate of unemployment, but not for long. And as a result, we have a new theory of a vertical Phillips curve, which basically says we're going to get back to one level of unemployment, and we can have that level of unemployment with either low inflation or high inflation, but there's really no trade-off. Well, that is really significant. It means that there's no reason to let inflation go up. Uh, there is a cost to inflation to everyday people, and there is no way to buy less unemployment by tolerating higher inflation. And about that time, or at least as I recall at that time, there was a group of people who did quantitative research and they said, hey, what's the difference between a high inflation economy and a low inflation economy? So they looked at like the United States, we had eras of high inflation, eras of low inflation, how did we do? And they looked at different countries. Some countries have persistently high inflation. How do they do relative to those countries that have persistently low inflation? And what they realized was that there is a bit of a trade-off. The economies that have low inflation tend to have steady economic growth. Low inflation, steady economic growth. The economies that have high inflation, they go up and they go down, they go up and they go down, they go up and they go down. They get a lot of variability. And the Federal Reserve believes that. And if you th read any of the statements by Jerome Powell, the chair of the Fed, or the other members of the Federal Reserve Board, the presidents of the 12 regional banks, behind a lot of what they're saying is that High inflation means a very boom-bust 
economy. Low inflation means steady growth. So that is what the Fed is thinking. And that is why I believe that the Federal Reserve is going to be persistent in fighting inflation. They will do what it takes. I was skeptical about that a couple of years ago. I was one of the first economists saying, hey, we're going to have a problem with inflation. But now they have convinced me that they are going to keep inflation down. I put out a monthly newsletter. It's graphical with handwritten comments, and you can subscribe to that. This QR code will take you to the sign-up page. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Bill Connerly, connecting the dots between the economy and business.